So the Cannabis Sativa Eco Styler Gel. I had high hopes for this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Lauren Lee 11. And as you can see today, guys, I have my hair in two braids because I am done with gels. This gel is one of the worst I've ever used. And what I'm talking about today is the Cannabis Sativa Oil Eco Style Gel. And it says on here, if you can see that, it says flake free. Flake free. It should say flaky. The flakes. I got off this gel was ridiculous. If you can see on here guys, it's like, it literally is like glue, look, look at that flaking. It is literally like primary school glue, okay? It also got so bad that I literally had to wash the gel out of my hair. And when I did wash the gel out of my hair, brace yourself guys, this is what happened. Look at this, this is my hair. And this is the gel wrapped around my hair. Listen. That is the gel. It's like glue. It is hard as anything. Hear that? Look at that. This is gel in my hair that I had to wash out. This is not acceptable. Anyway, guys, enough rambling. Let's start from the beginning. Flashback. If you can tell by the title, I'm a bit tardy for the party, but it's not my fault. I live in the UK and we get stuff super late. I have seen many reviews of this product that I'm about to review, but you know, I've got my hands on it now, so why not? If you are in the UK and you did want to try this, it is available now, okay? <laughs> it's Cannabis Sativa Oil Eco Style Gel, and it's got black castor oil as well as olive oil. I'm not going to use a leave-in today because it's got all these oils in it and I want to see, like I usually do when I review a product, I want to see how it works by itself. So let's get all the technical stuff out of the way. Price-wise, it was £4.99, more than a bit pricey. You know me guys, I'm frugal, I just like to, you know, budget my money because the thing is, once I've found a product that I like, I'm going to want to keep on buying it and I'm not going to want to keep on buying this for £5, really, seriously. Okay guys, I do want to say this, it's got a really nice fragrant smell to it, it smells really nice. It reminds me of incense sticks. It looks like the Jamaican black castor oil one and flaxseed, as you can see. Right, so let me just go ahead and stop chatting and I'm going to go apply this guys, okay? Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of this off camera, but if you can see guys, it's got a nice slip, but also it's quite tacky in the sense that when you apply it, it doesn't feel like that when you take it out of the jar, but when you apply it to the hair, and not tacky in a bad way, tacky in a good way, it feels like it's going to have great hold. Okay, so, oh it just smells so nice, it really does smell so nice. Okay, so I'm going to apply the rest of this off camera guys, because I have so many wash and go videos. So I'll come back to you soon guys, okay? Okay guys, so I'm back now and I am super impressed. I was not expecting this. <sighs> the Cannabis Sativa Oil Gel just, wow, it's blown my expectations. Basically the hold feels like the Olive Oil Eco Styler. It doesn't seem to have the hold um, number on here. It does have a really strong hold. I literally used it for my edges. As you can see, they are not going anywhere. I've got a bit of crunch for those ends that have dried. But if you notice, my hair's dried, but it hasn't shrunken up too much. And I feel that's because of the oils in there. It's got three main oils in there. And I feel that's because they are pulling weighing the hair down, which is great. Definition is great. Obviously, these are my struggle areas where I struggle to get a curl, but you know, it's doing its thing. Let me just show you the back, guys. Okay. So it most probably looks like how my other Eco Styler wash and goes look, or gel wash and goes, just to say. But I am very impressed. I was not expecting this at all. And Cannabis Sativa Oil Eco Style Gel is, I think it's gonna have to be a keeper as well. I don't think it's gonna be a staple because of the price, but as I said, it's one that's gonna be on my list. Be on my list. 
next morning. Hell no, till the no, 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 hell till the no. Hi guys, so I'm back to show you the dried results and to be honest, I am not happy. Okay, my definition is nice, yes, but even doing this, I can see bits of gel flying around. I don't know if you can see that. It just looks like bits of dust. So I've got amazing definition, a nice shine, but I wasn't expecting this at all. I'm not happy. The smell is amazing. The hold is amazing. I want to know if you guys can see this, this stuff floating around. I don't know, but... Um, yeah so maybe if i just crunch out the gel and then after let me just try it let me just try because it. it's pretty soft oh my word guys you have to be seeing this the gel cast is ridiculous let me just show you my top you see all those white bits on my top that is literally from the gel cast as i said guys this is my review i had really high hopes for it Unfortunately guys, it's gonna have to be a thumbs down for me. Um, I, as I said, I do love the wash and go, but mm -mm, I can't deal with all of this right here, looking like I've got dandruff when I haven't. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, or if you've tried this gel, let me know. And you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can find me on Instagram at MissLaurenly11, and I will see you in the next one. All right guys, bye.